what's up internet in this video i'm going to talk about key maps in um, vim we're going to use lua apis to uh, add key maps so this is something i usually use i'm using jk to go to normal mode right now if i hit jk obviously it's going to uh, add those characters to the buffer but let's add the key bind um, so this is the vim script here you can do imap i stand for insert mode and then the key bind then the action escape key is the action now if i go into insert mode and if i hit jk you can see i'm in normal mode right now um, so that's how you would add key binds now let's get rid of that before i'm going to use lua one um, i i'll do i unmap jk simple as that now jk will be um, added into the buffer all right now let's use the lua one i'll type lua to perform a lua uh, statement vim api and vim set key bind sorry key map um then i first parameter is uh, the mode i'm going to pass i then the key bind um jk by the way these are strings that's why uh, they are surrounded by uh, single quotes or you can use double quotes as well if you want to um then the action again as get key then you can pass any parameters you want to pass there are you know uh, several pa uh, parameters or options you can use like uh, no remap silent or expression or whatever um yeah i'll add this one and it should work i'll hit jk and we are in normal mode so there are two different apis i don't know if you have noticed that first one is uh, set key map then we have envim buff set key map this is a uh, first one is the global level one if you add this one it's going to be uh, available in any window or whatever you are doing inside envim it's going to be available but if you use this one it's going to be uh, um, added to whatever the buffer you are in uh, let's use this one let's uh, actually copy these two to make them permanent to the you know directly to, to the configuration uh, let me copy the other one as well all right um yeah the, the second one is what what the second one is going to do is it's going to uh, let me actually show you uh, if i hit enter here or what i would usually use is control m uh, performing the return key uh, it, it's going to move uh, whatever the character uh, characters after the cursor to the next line obviously um but that's not what i want when i'm sometimes programming i'm going to go to the next uh, i want to add a new line um, what you can do is you can hit escape key to go to normal mode then o to add a new line now you are in the new line but that is still two uh, key binds or two keys so let's um, add it to a one um, this is what uh, that's going to do uh, notice the change you know this time we are passing zero so because we are adding the key bind to a buffer we need to mention uh, to which buffer we are going to add this key bind to this is uh, uh what that means zero means the current buffer whatever the buffer you are in the uh, the key bind should be added to that uh, you can uh, add a number or if you have a particular buffer number for example 11th buffer buffer then you can pass the buffer number um, usually you would retrieve the buffer number programmatically you know you would never know like uh, in which buffer you are um, uh, you are using right so uh, rest of the parameters are the same and if I hit uh, save and quit and I'll reopen to refresh the configuration now if I go to somewhere around here then hit control O we are adding a new line i'll do it again Control o and we're adding a new line without moving everything to the next line so 
that's the basic um let me go to the documentation this is a actually um a guide there are two sorry three apis for um set get and delete a key maps same goes for the buffer level apis as well then you will find um, modes available then down here the syntax all right um yeah i guess it's pretty simple now let me show you some key binds i have uh, i'll put the link in the description to my configuration uh, inside lua sorry nmeme inside general you'll find key binds dot lua file this is where i'm go uh, i'm adding all the key binds it's kind of different because i have wrapper um if uh, there are some pretty interesting um insert mode commands i'm using these two this is the one i did right now then i have one to add a semicolon control a semicolon that will add a semicolon go to the end, end of the line and add a semicolon kind of easy when you're programming then uh, go to end of the line and the beginning of the line things like that to move the cursor i have uh, some key binds with control um then i have you know um control y if i want to copy the current line to the next line i can just simply hit control y in insert mode i find that's really helpful sometimes yo so yeah yeah um, let me show you the wrapper so we'll go to nvim utils then there should be key bind dot lua this is like the utils uh, functions i have i'm basically taking a 2d table uh, then adding uh, all the key binds using vim api set key map the one we used and we have uh, i have buffer level one as well uh, then i'm basically assigning the function to this uh i guess you can call them meta accessor and simply you can call them uh inside the uh, inside another file yeah that's simple so uh this is it um hope you learned something new thanks for watching have a nice day